to SFF Tech Reviews. We're going to be doing an open box today of the Fantech PH-TC90LS. Kind of wish they would have gave it a name like, you know, Raven or Lowball or whatever, but they chose to give it a number and that's their prerogative. It's like Z28, Z87. Anyway, it comes in this really neat little box. Now, I watched a couple of other reviews on YouTube and I was really disappointed. For one, everybody said that this was for $11.55 and $11.56 and LGA 2011. But it is also good for the Haswell. The 1150. Not only that, but they laughed at this. And I couldn't understand why they were laughing so much. Because for small form factor machines, you need to have as much room as you possibly can. And you need to have the best cooling that your money can buy. And let me tell you something. Fantech has really done a good job with this. And I'm going to show it to you in just a second. But uh, it will, it's good for up to 130 watts. And um, it, uh, it's, it's really, uh, here we go. Well, let's just open it up. All right. First, it has an installation manual. And you know what? This is done very, very well. I like this. This is done really good. Um, it's shiny paper. It's easy to read. And uh, as you can see right here, USA, English, and I think that's French. But I don't know. Okay. Anyway, whoo. Hey, German. This is made in Europe, by the way, so careful to make sure that they include everybody. That's wonderful. Mm. This fan looks really, really chinky, but it's not. This thing is really, really tough. I'm trying to bend it, and I can't bend it. it it's not metal, it, but it's really like real hard ABS plastic. And it's got a really nice white sleeve. Uh, and it's sleeved all the way to the top. You don't see the wires. It's a four pin, so it's a PWM. Uh, what is it? Pulse wave modulation. Let's see what we have here. This is the back plate. Now, this is definitely metal. This is metal. And it's 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 heavy metal. Heavy, heavy metal. metal. Okay, okay. Okay. Now here is now this is when those guys started to laugh at this thing because it was so small. This is a server type um, cooler that is used in in servers very much especially in sort of the one you way it goes but there's actually heat pipes inside you can't you can't really see them but there's two heat pipes that follow along this right here and helps to distribute equally the heat that comes off the processor and also it's it's a thermal conductive coating that goes over the top of this and it is supposed to dissipate heat a lot faster now for all of those people out there who think it's really really funny that we have these low profile things you know with small form factors being all the rage these days we are really needing these devices this 
is even cold to my fingers right now and that to me is a good sign of a good cooler is the fact that there is no heat in this thing it has already dissipated any heat that could have been inside of it now it says the material is copper this is just nickel plating and on the inside is copper and this is that white coating that they spray on it it's just like a special paint anyway here's this box here and i really don't know what's inside of it probably thinking that it's mounting hardware and i'm right it is the fan holder and what else cool. these are the screws that come with it and they are um spring loaded so that when you when you bear down on it it actually pushes down harder on the cooler down onto the processor but it doesn't push it so hard that it actually breaks the pins on the motherboard so it's kind of a happy medium and that's what they want it's well engineered now the thermal paste is supposed to be really good and i am going to be doing a test of this fantech here which we've just opened up i am also going to compare it with this uh, arctic cooler that is also low profile and i also am going to be testing it along with the Zalman. Uh, all of them are basically the same idea, but who's the best, we really don't know yet. But I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up on what's coming. But this is no laughing matter. Let me tell you, if you are a small form factor type of builder you know how important it is to have a nice aftermarket cooler that you can use that is low profile so what you say in space in millimeter everywhere in your build in a small form factor pc is more space that you can give to another park or another place and let me tell you with the small form factor build you need to save as much space as you possibly can this is derek smith for sff tech thank you for watching our premiere episode look for more reviews and more open boxes it's coming and happy modding and god bless